Yo, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Randy Rosario, and welcome to Let's Rant About It Season 2. I'm kicking in here with the cool kids per usual. And before we get started, let me introduce them. To my left here, I got my girl, <laughs> the Don Diva, Crystal the Doll. Oh, I'm sorry, Crystal. We're not doing the doll no more. She didn't grow up. She's Crystal. Crystal. You, you still gotta be the doll. <laughs> Next, wow. we have Detroit's very own Casey Carson. He is a annoyance. I'm just kidding. He's my big cousin, but he is a director. He's a movie guy. He does all of that good stuff. Uh, right here, we have Poppy Chulo. We have one of my favorites, Brie. Brie used to actually work for me at Oso oh Radio, and now she's an influencer and media talent herself. And last and definitely least, we have 2K. <laughs> definitely <laughs> Last and definitely, we have 2K all the way from Dallas. 2K, thank you for being here. Thank y'all. You know, being the thorn in my side that you are, I appreciate you so much. So this episode today, y'all, we're going we gonna to go there. We're going to have some real conversations. All right. We're talking about disrespectful families. Mm. We all been there. We all been in a situation where it might have been the in-laws that disrespected us. Might have been our, our natural born family members that did it. Have y'all ever been in a situation where you just felt like you wanted to wring one of your family members neck yes yeah yeah okay cool let's talk about it Casey what happened uh my ex-wife was pregnant she was like eight months and my stepdaughter was with her aunt this lady had no sense of direction and she ran out of gas and instead of her being an adult calling like hey I ran out of gas she decided to call the pregnant lady and say just ride up and down eight mile I have no idea where I am Mm. So for me, it was an issue. Right. That's like the ultimate sign of disrespect because one, you ain't have enough money to have AAA. Two, you weren't smart enough to know when your gas light was on. <laughs> and three, you didn't decide to call for help from somebody who wasn't pregnant. So, so what you do? We ended up finding her, but at that point, I'm like, shit, my kid can't go with you no more. That's right, because she was in. Because at was, that point, you're irresponsible and you ain't got no money. So she just, <laughs> <laughs> she just respectful. She was disrespectful because she was broke. She was disrespectful. She was irresponsible. Like you knew how much gas was in that car. That light comes on, and the worst cars it still beat. You, you, look, you, you are harsh. You a little harsh when anybody got some real disrespect. Because I feel like that was she disrespected herself more than she disrespected anybody she did, else. To have my kid out at night like she that, shouldn't that's have dangerous. Out of all the people in the world, you call then a you call a pregnant lady. Yeah. She's like, you don't need a man for everything. Like clearly, you do to pump your gas. You don't. Who she? She told your yo your wife that she don't need a man for everything. Yeah, she's like, you don't need to call a man. We can figure this out. Like, no, you don't have gas money. You need a man. Okay, so question. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper because I gotta know. Do she got a man? She was supposed to have one, but clearly he wasn't doing his job. She ain't had gas. <laughs> I cannot, <laughs> or she couldn't call him. Now, now you blood related. Can it be? It can be blood related, it or can. it can be in laws or whatever. What you thinking? All right, my cousin. Okay. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck you if you watch. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. Right. Put everything on the floor. What your cousin do to you? Now listen. Now it's it's the difference when you like you know. Loyalty is something supposed to be given your whole life. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you didn't start with a nigga, you didn't split a dollar sandwich with. Okay, cool. We're gonna go around this thing, yeah. travel, do all these things, and whatever the case yeah. is. I'm talking about paying for first class flights, penthouse stays. You driving my damn car. What he do to you? This nigga just stole a hundred thousand from me. Ooh, Ooh. Listen, Ooh. listen. listen two, weeks, two weeks wait, wait, wait. after his marriage. Money is the root to all evil. So it that that's that show is not love. love. People no without money, money is love the root to all evil. No, people without money is the root of all evil. It's the people who don't have it. The love of people without a couple dollars used to be all right. Broke people. So he stole a hundred thousand dollars, and he thought he was gonna get away with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it, it was to the point where, boom, as soon as I seen the money was missing out of the account, right? Because uh -huh. he did have a little business with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But then that's when he met this girl, right? Right. We got our bodies together and everything. Both of us, right? Okay. On the transformation week, we right. celebrating. He meet this girl, right? That we pretty much introduced him to. You probably shouldn't have did that, right? Because right. he was soft on women. It's always a Delilah. Mm. You feel me? <laughs> now, on real March, quick, when you right? say y'all got your bodies together, tell yeah, me what that Okay, listen, listen. Y'all got your bodies together. We lost like, 60 pounds. Too long pounds. Like the BBL? No, no, no. I need to be I got you. Let me tell you what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Florida, y'all no, no. different. So this clear this up for us. Working out, boxing. You know what I'm saying? Boxing, running, all. Oh, that. you're working out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got the clips after the show. Through the whole journey. Through the whole journey. Sure. This, this ain't like the clips after the okay. after the transformation. Hey, I'm not mad at you. Transformation. We like okay. Yeah, I was a little confused. I wasn't, I wasn't going to yeah. put no energy into it. I was going to let him just have his body it's done. We're going to stop at this real yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I don't want that dare to be out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what Yeah, we went out. I'm going to tell you now. Okay. You pull up with a million dollars worth of jewelry, you can have whatever body you want. They don't care. <laughs> so we went out, talk, right? Boom, he met her um, the week at, um, in March. This okay. is March. Timeline is key, right? right? Boom, you stop showing up at work. You stop being, hey, man, what's up? We got to get to it. Yo, I'm cuddling. 
I'm cuddling. Hey, hey we gotta crazy. get to it. I'm in the movies. I'm we cuddling is crazy. So what was his salary? I need to know. I don't know. He had like probably like a hundred thousand saved to watch. He had okay. like a hundred thousand saved. We he was, he was getting first class flights, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so had to I'm gonna give you my resume. Fuck him. I'm with you. <laughs> Fuck you, cousin. <laughs> I'm hired. <laughs> so boom, you know what I'm saying? Time going along, whatever the case is. He get ready to propose to her. I'm like, like bro, it is. Here. You can't propose in July. Why can't you? You see what I'm saying? Bree said, "Why can't you?" You don't need even to, know her. Yeah, you need time to learn somebody. You need time to see how they feel when they upset, when, they, when okay, they're angry. I'm not trying to be funny, y'all, but this is real trivial compared to some of the disrespect that I faced in my family. And I'm going to go there because, and I'm not, no disrespect taken, mm -hmm. but death is a real big one. And when someone close to you dies, like a, a father or... Um, a grandmother or anyone that's like close knitted family, it brings out the devil and the evil and some motherfuckers. No, you're so still in like, a hundred thousand. Still in a hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm so like, Bree, if we're gonna be honest with you, let's let's deep dive into that because getting married, mm -hmm. someone dying, mm -hmm. someone having a baby, you get to see everybody's truth and you get to see their real and their true colors for real, for real. So I agree with you on that. Did you experience some some disrespect when you lost somebody? Um, yeah. Um, not more so me, but my mom faced a lot of traumatic disrespect from different family members mm -hmm. when it came to how she handled my dad's death, mm -hmm. when it came to how she handled my grandmother's death. Um, there were some supportive people, but you know, you just got those people that just always got shit to say, talk negative it's about. It's always the people that live out of town that's not having yeah. to be there to take care of people, that's not having to be hands on daily or something like that. It's always that. You know what? I want to also speak on something else. Recently, um, y'all remember DJ Twitch? Yeah. He he lost his life to suicide. Yeah. He used to be yeah. Ellen's DJ. Mm -hmm. Well, recently his wife started dating again. Yeah. And mm -hmm. a post that a post went out to me that was horrible journalism that says uh, something along the lines of two years after DJ Twitch died, uh, his wife did a soft launch of her new boyfriend. First off, it was unnecessary to even include the fact that DJ Twitch was that was his like that's his, just let let that lady live her life. Right. Yes. If you have not if you have not experienced a loss like that when it comes to love and you don't know what that bounce back look like you can't judge it even if you have experienced it everybody like how their healing journey looks like is different i saw other people uh women in the comments like yeah because i know girls that turn into hoes after they man die it happens why not when They're you use the, when you lose the love of your They're life or you cold. lose the person yeah. that you think you're gonna be with you try to you try to find that in other people so turning into a hoe happens because mm -hmm. you think that what you have with that person that left you might get with somebody else. It wasn't. It was. You didn't have to put in a lot of work to find that mate. That mate found you and y'all. Yeah, and y'all was good. Touch nobody so in ten years. Are you years. saying that you support? Nobody, I go. If I go, you better not touch nobody in ten years. Ten years. Ten, ten years. That's not. Ten. It's not realistic. She's getting fucked on in ten years. Use the money. Use the money. Go find out who you really could be. You know what I mean? We go. I got somebody after the funeral. <laughs> what? Somebody gotta console me, okay? I, Somebody I, I, gotta console see, see, me. Y'all say it's cool. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. That is really not that that is too much. Listen, but I do, death yeah. in jail. Yeah. I'm gonna need somebody. Well, the Quran say, I think the Quran say four months, and I don't think the Bible say nothing. I think the Bible it, don't the Bible, say nothing. The Bible Actually, actually the Bible, the Bible even says, um, if you want to go there about how the brother-in-law is supposed to basically marry the widow. If you Bible really want to go the there. Lord knows my heart. So he know I need somebody. Like, if you really want to go there, like, the that's Lord the Old Testament. The Lord know everything. you codependent. The Lord is my journey. Hold on, hold on. Hey, listen, <laughs> for real. How soon are y'all moving on? Something happened to your lover, the person that was there from day one. I think I'm talking about the emotional trauma. Talking about falling thing. in love and having sex. I don't Those think that, you guys want me to have this conversation for real because you know a bitch and had to walk in them footsteps before. I'm moving on. Um, for me personally, my journey That's when it delicious. came to that. No, when my journey came to that, it was a. I think I was lost in after Chris passed away. Like I, I really had lost myself because a lot of my identity that I had established as an adult mm -hmm. was. His fiance. Yeah. My identity was okay. Cool. I'm about to become a a nurse. I'm about to get married. I'm about to have some kids eventually. Like I wasn't engaged to be married because I was pregnant. Obviously, my only child that I have is Chandler biologically. I I dropped the ball. Mm -hmm. I moved on a few months later, and I ended up getting dragged to hell and back with the person I decided to deal with. Mm -hmm. And I thought that it was okay because, you know, you want that 
that, oh, we've been together for a long time mm-hmm. story. Or, you know, sometimes you got to you got to get it through the mud because we've learned so much in our in our culture, in our society that, you know, you got to do the work for your relationship. Yeah. And that's why I speak so much on relationships for real, because doing that work is not mud work. The yeah. person that's supposed to love mm-hmm. on you and be there for you is not going to be putting their hands on you. Nope. It's not right. going to be talking to you crazy. Right. It's nope. not going to be breaking your confidence. Nope. They're going to be pouring into you and building you that's up. They're going to see that opposite. best version of you mm-hmm. and say, how can I help you get there? Mm-hmm. God brought me into your life to help me ordain those steps to get you there. Mm-hmm. That's what your mate's supposed to be doing in yeah. real life. And in reality, a lot of the times when you're broken, you're going to attract brokenness to you. When I was broken after Christopher died, I should have sat with myself for a second. But because Amen. I was codependent like <laughs> Casey said he was, <laughs> and I, he is, I, I was love. I was right. looking for something immediately to fulfill that. And I was never going to get that fulfillment. So here I am messing with a bottom feeder, low vibrational, using ass nigga that didn't deserve my energy, mm-hmm. didn't deserve my time, didn't deserve nothing. You needed that and, man. I didn't need that. Yeah, he did. What, what did he no, teach you? I, he ain't teach he me taught shit. He everything that you didn't want. No, he did not. Let me tell you. You cannot tell me that you are the niggas cool niggas in, if you have never been hungry. No. The you niggas, can't tell me you're happy if you haven't school. been sad. The niggas in high school You can't school tell, tell me that, that you love this want. nice car if you high haven't school. had a bad one. High school, that's a little too early, right? What you mean? Do you count those experiences? It's, yes. It's yes. Real experience. yes. You're, you're, you're exactly. Yes. 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 You're exactly. Yes. You're exactly. Yes. You're exactly. Yes. Like, you're exactly. Yes. 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 You're exactly. For me, yeah, I can say on the family side, not, I don't know. I when we, when we, when you made this subject and I thought about it, I more so thought about like what people endure when they're in relationships with people mm-hmm. and how Take disrespectful, how disrespectful the person you're dealing with family can be. How far is too far? Yeah. Like basically, let's say you marrying a mama's boy. Yeah. And his mama want to be included in every aspect of everything. Mm. You get what I'm saying? This is your relationship. And when y'all get into it, he call his mama. Mm-hmm. And then she calling you trying to tell you what not to do to her son. Yeah. Or what you can and can't do. But not Miss Linda got to get cussed the fuck out. Yeah, only, and then it, it creates Not Miss Linda going to get red her right. You know, you know, you know, know the real issue? What? Y'all are afraid to walk away from something. Because when you talk about I two thousand percent in your situation. That's, that's true. My mama, she dealt with this because of the death of my dad, the death of my, my grandma. At some point, you got to say, fuck y'all, I'm going to do what I want to do. That, that part. If I'm it. dating you and you're like, you know what? This should be this way. Well, why don't you date this person? Because I can move on. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of people don't have confidence and self-esteem. Yeah. Me, I'm arrogant as shit. We know. I think I'm the greatest thing that God we made. Talk about we can so tell. in a heartbeat, I can tell you, I will be okay. The world will continue to move without you. Well, it's we're a lot about people you, are but it's not. Are it's so beautiful that. that you can compartmentalize your emotions and your feelings like that. But for the rest of us that actually live in the real world, where we color outside the lines and we use all I'll of the say, colors I'll in the crayon, that just means that yeah. you're yeah. 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 saying. To say you don't, to say you don't need anybody, Casey, is very ungodly. Like. As a man to say, you don't need another woman. That's ungodly. Because God did not myself. design man and woman to be separated alone. Yeah, it just don't need I that don't one. Need nobody. Yeah, that one. Just that one. Yeah, that one. I'm just saying, that's so ungodly. You're talking about Roscoe Jenkins team say, with me? Okay. I am standing with that. But you're talking about Roscoe Long. Roscoe Long. That's because it was a movie. But that is still a lie. I do lesson. movies. The shit don't be real. That's it, I'm telling you, the at point, the end of the, the day, point of those I'm going to always to depend on me because I'm going to hold myself people. up. Yeah. Learning that's something. What you you can always have said, a I feel like that's what it is. You don't need nobody. You can be entertainment, but it's always supposed to be a lesson somewhere in that script. Somebody's supposed to learn something from what you put out there for them to watch. Everything is not just a joke. Yeah. It has to be something that they're going to learn from. Chris, I do movies for money. That's the only reason. And I'm an actress. I don't do no passion projects. And I still. This is all about paychecks for me. I don't do no passion projects. It's about paychecks. You, that's why we always speak on a term of individuality and yeah. how you feel the, the, about things. Uh, that's what I said. How I'm arrogant. You. I feel this way. If money is your motivation, me. then what else do you have to linger or lay off of in life in general if money is your motivation? Like More what money. else? You never hear people say, I got enough money. You when you die, you can't take that shit with you. Like people, when you die, you can't take that shit with you at the end of the day. And they're killing themselves. Money, no, 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 money you ain't everything. You ain't more than the money. You ain't more than the money. You ain't more You ain't more than the money. But you got rich people. You say, let me get here to this point. The worst times of my life is when I didn't have it. That's a fact. That's a lot of people. All right, let's reset. Let's reset. Let's reset. Before we become disrespectful. 
<laughs> I just feel people don't know how to walk away. That's what it is. No, we really don't. A lot, a lot of women don't know how to walk away because we've invested so much time and energy in the situation. And a lot but of honestly, like men too. But men too. A lot of people are afraid to be alone. A lot yeah. of people don't want to be by themselves. And a lot of people are afraid to walk away from what they've established and built because that part. shoot, you didn't put so much time and energy into it. Start over. Sound hard. Right. Sound hard. Two right. K. Okay, what you need to say? Because it's, it's it's coming out your toes right now. No, no, no. So like. I don't de- like I don't I don't really deal with too much family disrespect, believe it or not. I, I might be the person disrespecting everybody, but I, don't, <laughs> I can see that. I don't get it the other way around, it. but <laughs> on the in-law side of the game, like I love my in-laws, but I, y'all don't know, like I'm an atheist, right? So I don't believe in nothing. But I got my my wife, her sister, always telling her, telling me, I'ma pray for you. I'ma pray for you. Like, let me touch you. God got some on his life. And I kind of find that like kind of disrespectful. I told you I ain't rocking like that. And then here you is trying to pray for me. Yeah, like, you know what? Got and she been you praying for me, so that's a show of prayer don't work for me. Like, you leave me alone. <laughs> no, but you know what? Not even, not even being funny. Yeah. You do have to respect people's religious mm-hmm. boundaries. Yeah. And I think a lot of the disrespect at its foundation really just be. Hmm not respecting somebody's boundary on something. You want to give my kid a piece of candy and I say he can't eat candy. You want to, you know, talk to me in a certain a certain tone and I ask you not to talk to me in a certain tone since I was five years old. I'd ask you to respect my boundaries in certain certain ways forever. That would, if I if I didn't believe in a in a higher power and a God, no, whatever, what's your response that to this? would piss me so, off. She said she's going to pray for you. How do you respond to this? I don't, like, because... Of- I don't, you Cause know. you don't want to get disrespectful. Yeah, because my wife, like, if I disrespect, so you do her, got you scared. scared. Yeah, no, I ain't, I ain't problematic now. But see, I'm. I'm he scared. said you scared. No, nah, I'm not scared of spiteful though. I still do stuff. Oh. Like what? Yeah. Like what you be doing? Like when her kids come over, I, you know, I paint you. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, hold on, wait, take this out, take this out. No, no, no. I forgot. No, Damn. Wait, oh my God, they hear this. No. Why don't you take it out on the kids? You tell me that you are atheist, you believe in no higher power. This lady like continuously to tells you that she's going to pray for you, and you just sit there and be like, okay. I'm a picture. Now, no, so listen, I don't see... With my with my relig- well, not religion, well, what I believe in, I won't disrespect y'all religion. Me. Like yesterday when you prayed for me, yeah, I I went got you held the hand. I got some prayer. Yeah. I ain't gonna disrespect what you believe That's in. That's not disrespectful. If you say, but you know, exactly, but it's not the that. other way around. When she telling me, hey, I'm gonna pray for you. I just told you on. I went to Catholic school yeah. and they had mass. I didn't hold know, on, because and, I wasn't Catholic. Hold on, but but what at what so point? What the fuck was you in the school for then? I you don't want to play. learn about Christ. You don't want to grow. You I don't want to play you basketball. Wanna, okay, so okay? take your ass home. That's why I was there. Hold on. Hey, listen, listen. I was trying to get a scholarship, what, so I ain't being another nigga. Somebody. Well, guess what? You turned into steel. Another nigga. But I gotta come with that. Steel nigga. But what's wrong with actually okay. introducing religion? Mr. Nigga. That's what it is. <laughs> what's wrong with actually introducing religion, though? To a person without it. Like, far as like, I don't yo. think there's anything wrong with introducing listen, religion. If they're open it's honest, to it. If they're not This is going to be a crazy analogy. I'm sorry. It's a similar to, let's say, let's say JT want to do something crazy in the bedroom. And I'm like, ah, I don't really want to do that. But he keep pushing. He wants to do this in the bedroom. And I'm like, ah, I'm really into that. But he keep pushing it. And I'm like, fine. I just, I automatically, I just, I give into it. That's what's wrong with it. It's not me willingly wanting to give my energy to it. It's me compromising my own boundaries and myself yeah. for somebody else. So although as people that, you know, have a religion and that's have, you know, believe in God and a lot of our life is revolving around that, we'd be shocked when we meet an atheist person because unfortunately it's been taught to us that if you don't believe in God, you believe in the devil. Atheist people don't believe in the devil. Yeah. They don't believe in nothing. They think we just here, we popped up. How the fuck we, we got die. here? I, you got to ask that motherfucker. I'm not atheist. <laughs> How we got here? They say it's biology. My mama. My biology. How mama got here? How her mama got here? How everybody got here? All we I just spawned from the fucking earth. And I get to say, I don't know. I don't got the answer to I think you should show us to the next family. But like, no, nah, I ain't going to lie. Lighters. <laughs> what? Like, what is wrong with you, little Nikki? <laughs> I, I, rock, I, rock, I rock out with some of the stuff, you know, with the Bible and stuff. So like, I be giving her scriptures that can help her. Okay. Like uh, <laughs> uh, like Proverbs six two six. It say a prostitute feed is only worth a loaf of bread. So a prostitute should be on the charge of three dollars <laughs> and not what they charge. <laughs> so no, these these are real. I was okay. going That's Proverbs. Proverbs what? Proverbs six two six. Pull out your Bible and read. It, it, it so, said a prostitute's feet. So the point a prostitute's feet is only worth that, that $40 bread. that they so charge is too much. So wait a minute. What yeah. is it is a raisin bread? Because raisin, raisin bread is a little bit more expensive. I dare you say about good. raisin that's bread. That's it. 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 That's it.
They they just came but out. But if you are atheist and you don't, you can't you can't even scroll. You can't. Uh, yes, you I can't, can. You cannot quote the Bible. You can't do that. And then Why? Why can't he he's not? Atheist. Yes, I can. That doesn't mean he don't believe still a book. But that's, he's mocking it. It's a no, mockery. No, oh, no, 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 you know no, no. I'm not going to lie, I Chris. I do think that's the same as blasphemy. Blasphemy. No, I, I do. That's I the do same. I'm not saying that. I said you're mocking the Bible. If you say you don't believe in anything and then you're quoting it for your use, you're mocking it. No, so mm -hmm. listen, because she mean, be, we all do that. We, we be How many people do you say? Hold on, Bible says she no, got. Bible Bible says you remember, the Bible will kind of lead you. It'll lead you yeah. more into it. So it, it'll be helping. For a person who don't believe in it, I believe. Uh, it, but but a lot of people have done that. A lot of people have read the Bible and then start falling in love with the passages in the Bible and then found their way to God. So sometimes that's how God this ain't had nothing to do with the Bible. Because like you know, what I'm saying to to them. It's like trying to find a way to tell a prophet. We picking at each other. Somebody who don't really believe in working out, they should never go to the gym. She got mad at Nobody me. Nobody said no. that. So Why would that? they go to the gym if they don't believe in working out? So now you're saying he should just go and. I do just said an atheist should not quote the Bible. He ain't hear anybody does. I'm saying you don't believe like that. Okay, so that. this is hey, yeah, back to cousin. All right, yeah, hey. Oh, no, 100,000. Wait, let me finish on the 100,000. Okay, yeah. Right. Let, let him get this off his chest, y'all, because his chest is big right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this happened last year, late last year. Oh, so, so it's still fresh. So it's still fresh. All right. So it's still fresh. A little salt in the wound. Yeah, so look, I ain't go to the wedding, right? Oh, that's why this you ain't go to the wedding. No, no, this happened two weeks after the wedding. Okay. Oh, this oh. you tricked my mama into going to the wedding, but you couldn't. Yeah, exactly. Yes. All right. Okay. Now watch the last episode so you can know what we're talking about. All right, okay. listen, listen. I ain't go to the wedding, right? Because the person who he was getting married to, I knew for a fact it was too soon. Mm -hmm. I said, "Yo, bro, I had a dream. I woke up in a hot sweat and said, listen, you're gonna be by yourself. <laughs> I was seeing you in the house crying, no furniture, no nothing. You're gonna be by yourself." When my dreams, when I do that shit, that's how I got rich. I yeah. knew exactly what business to start the moment I woke up. Yeah. And I said, yo, that's what that's how God talked to me. Yeah. So I told him, and he, thanks, cuz. I'm gonna really think about that. Two days later, he I'm proposed. gonna propose to her. Because oh, he was scared of her leaving, because he was running out of money. Like he was spending money on her crazy. All the money in the bank account. Three months, you spent a hundred thousand dollars out of your account. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to eat shit that City you ain't girls eat. up. What she look like? Bro, not even, not even, yeah, but the thing is, boom, you take seven days for your birthday. Nigga, we only celebrated uh, our birthday for like 30 minutes or some shit. You take seven days, she taking you around the world spending your money on your birthday. Yeah. And you spend it on her. What she do wrong? She didn't even know this man to do that. But guess what? That's he on him it. because he was tender. He was tender. He shouldn't even suck. He shouldn't even be out there. Boom, he proposed to her, whatever the case is. He said, yo, how do I tell her I'm broke? I'm like, nigga, why the fuck you let her take all the, how, why, why you let that happen? You're supposed to control the situation. Right. She used to always say, yo, I've been in relationships with dudes who gave me allowance and everything. So he, he in his head, thinking like he got to keep up with the rich don't nigga. Do it. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, baby, don't worry about it. Just keep spinning. Even though he panicking in the background, but right. he won't come to work. Yeah. Because he's scared that she's going to be doing this and that to him. He's the person that fell into those uncertain, you know, unfortunate situations mm -hmm. where girls in the bed, while he at work and shit. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of now trauma. And trauma. So now he don't want to leave her side because he don't want her to no. do with some shit. You know what I'm saying? And she was coming from California. Moved down here. Had everything in the crib, whatever the case is, and I tried to be supportive. They still together? No. Okay, Coco, get me there. Get me there. Get all right, there. all right, Sue. So, boom. So they took the hundred. They get married. Anymore. They get married. Everybody pissed that I'm not at the wedding. Right okay. now, I'm this. Where did he get the money to buy, pay for <laughs> the wedding? That person. <laughs> he had a couple dollars. They got married on the beach. Yeah. The beach free. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So not the beach. Married free. The beach free. Y'all know how the beach is. <laughs> I got married. The beach got married in Bella. He went to Miami, Puerto Rico. Where he go? Nah, just just in the backyard. Okay. They live in Florida, so it's okay. Everybody got a beach. So he made it a little. So okay. I'm not there at the wedding, right? Because I said, yo, I cannot stand for. For a um, union that I don't believe in. Period. You I'm know not what I'm witnessing saying? a union. I, I can't do that. Okay. But I'm the wrongest person because my mama and everybody showed up but me. You okay. know what I'm saying? They're like, you is, you supposed to be his best friend. You're a best friend. You ain't show up. Okay. You dirty motherfucking the So I guess he was holding some energy. But after his marriage, I said, yo, congratulations. I gave him a car. Yeah. I gave him a fucking car for his deal. What kind of car? Neon? That was a Camaro. Okay. Ooh, okay. You know what I'm saying? A little camp camp. And then boom, I'm checking the account one day. Uh, what? Two days before my my daughter's birthday, okay, my money. And gone. you was gonna do a, you was gonna do a thirty mm. minute celebration because that's how you celebrate birthday. You feel me? Okay, hundred thousand gone. <laughs> Cause what's happening? What's happening? Where my money at? I seen you took it out. Whole long ass text. Good morning. I'm like, good morning. This ain't you, nigga. You wouldn't even talk like this. You don't say good morning. Oh, it's his wife. She was texting. She was texting on what his behalf. What she said? Saying, hey. I believe he's owed way more compensation than what you was giving him or whatever the case is for the business dealings that you guys have or whatever the case mm. is. We could take you to the court or I, we could just take the money that we took out of there. And I knew it was her. So immediately, um, bitch, give me my money. 
You know what I'm saying? Give me my money. So bitch, give me, give me my money. Give me my money. Yay! So, what kind of Florida you from? <laughs> Tampa. See, you ain't from the first 48 for Florida. Bruh. That's what it is. Bruh. Y'all from the different part. So, so family members calling me. Uh-huh. Family taking side. Uh-huh. Disrespectful shit on both sides. Right. So now you got people saying, nigga, at least you got it to take. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Man. Nice. That's how family doing it. And now I'm seeing everybody true colors, the shit that they really wanted to say yeah. to me, but they was waiting for an instant yeah. to they actually like say it. Like, oh, maybe you was manipulating him. Maybe you was taking advantage. I'm like, I paid for everything this nigga for the last five years. He Did had you to pay cut shit. Them off? Yeah. I ain't talked to them ever since. But guess what? Guess what, what name, guess what happened? She left. Can we talk? Guess what happened? And then he got divorced two months later. She took Damn. everything out of that fucking house. And that shit that I said happened. It came true. He was, he was crying. Bed. He called me. He said I was right. I hung up on his ass. Never talked to him since. Period. Can we talk about this though? Because I actually ran into a situation recently where I kind of had to disconnect from a couple family members, and I've disconnected from family members before. Like, let me tell you something. I've, I, I don't. I'm not gonna hold you. If you know me, you didn't see me around a bunch of different people a bunch of different times. Because once things go a little bit weird. I believe you're just there for that season and just that reason. That's just that. I'm not going to hold you forever because you got the same blood as me a little bit. How do we talk about this healing journey after disconnecting? Because all that disconnect from the disrespect, disconnect from disrespect, that sounds good and that sounds fun. And it is. like it's, it's 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 a good feeling initially. But then after a week or so, especially if it's somebody that you talk to every day that was a part of your everyday life. Yeah. You have to go through a grieving process mm-hmm. of that family member or That's that true. friend or whomever. That's true. How did you? How did you really? Did you grieve and did you? How do? You, how are you healing from that? Ah uh, shit! It was, it was fucking up my household. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it was fucking with my mood. I only had like three people I could trust in my fucking life. Yeah. And then boom, nigga, you knock yourself out the map. Yeah. I grew up with you. We, yeah. we grew up in the same life together. Like what the fuck? You yeah. know what I mean? So it was a fucked up mindset. I'm talking about it was even affecting my daughter because my daughter was over here in the conversations because I had, remember it was only two days before that. I'm going yeah. down there, I'm still talking about it. Yeah. And she paying attention. So she treating her cousins like, you ain't going to take shit from me. You know what I'm saying? Because she in the mindset that, oh, sure. Yeah. But that's yeah. that's something too that ends up happening that be, that'd be real <clears throat> unfortunate when it comes to when the adults get into it, yeah. the kids feel it. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like when... Oh. When the kids are in adults' conversations or when adults are having these conversations around the kids and keeping them involved in, in stuff mm-hmm. that they shouldn't be involved in, yeah. I don't like that. I don't like... And you can always tell when somebody is talking about you around their kids. Their kids' energy just be stiff a little bit. Yeah. And I'd be like, little Ray Ray, I'll beat the fuck out of you, cuz. Like, <laughs> oh, have you, you ever see what Tighten happens up, when, when the United States bombs a country at war? They go after everything. <laughs> you become a casualty. If I cut you off, I'm cutting off Everything yeah. that's Y'all got some horrible families. Man. Everybody's gone. <laughs> no, you <laughs> come, and we, day, can we you talk about can we, can we talk about this? You being from the South, I feel like what y'all believe in when it comes to family ship and when it comes to <clears> um <throat> Just how families are supposed to be. I think y'all move a little bit different and a little bit better than we do. No, I will it, honestly say that. I do. I genuinely I, I, think no, that. I, I, that's what I they see say. Southern hospitality, they're nicer. I, 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 not nicer. I, I, I just think they, they 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 lack a little bit more bounds. No, I honestly like feel like I'm I, from living down there, been living down there for a year now. It's totally different from up north. I see living down south, there in the Georgia. They're is. nice. They're very nice people. Mm-hmm. Like, and I say that in a sense of how up here. They try to hang you. No, I'm I'm not even and not in that way. I'm gonna say it like this. Up here. So we don't know the history. Of Nobody stuff. says good morning up here, no, but down here, saying. everybody no, says like, hello to you. Yeah, no, and that's what I mean by that. I'm not saying yeah. like, oh, nice like that. When I say like up here, men barely open the door for women. If it ain't your okay. woman, they okay. not opening the door okay. for you. I you like, that. they don't like, yeah, they see it. They get, no, they get, uh, that's fine, but it's just being born. I mean, Crystal, when you, for, I do teach, I teach for what it's worth, I open the door for you too. A gentleman no, to who? No, you always do, don't do that because you no, play I'm, it off. No, I'm saying, I will open it for like, you, as in, oh, if I, you look like you, if you walk through the door, I'm gonna open it. But if you a butt ugly bitch, I'm not opening the door for you. That's not how that goes. Hey, hey, hey. That's not how that should go, though. No, I do agree with, I do agree with that. I think that, I think that, you know, they are a lot kinder in down south, but I think that the Detroit, the Midwest is way nicer than the East Coast. Cause you've been in New York? Oh, yeah. I have, yeah, they're rude. They rude, Asshole. they, they rude, they they're very rude. rude. I'm, so I'm, like, no, 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 I really want to get back to no. what you were saying in regards to found, like family and Yeah, but the family, family thing, like, I, I think we don't believe in quote unquote healing. We believe in mm-hmm. adjusting and moving on. Okay. okay. Like y'all yeah, spend yeah. so much time trying to yeah, heal and heal. Like people, we never heal. We never heal from our first breakup when we was 13. Okay. We just adjust. And, and then we move on. on. Okay, I can't mess with you in this way, cuzzo, but you still cuzzo. 
oh, I can't do this with you, cuzzo, okay. but you still cuzzo. Yeah. And oh, okay. so y'all be trying to like get it all back. A lot I'll of times, trying, yeah. I think I, that's a lot of times culture, culture, for sure. Sure. I try to that's be that person. Culture. I'm not gonna kid you. I really do try. I try to be that person where it's like, okay, cool, we can work through it, we can talk about it, and things like that. But nope. sometimes, nope. sometimes the level of disrespect that happens yeah. is so high that there is no going back to it. Hundred percent. There's no coming back from. You telling me I'm a hoe ass nigga, fuck you bitch, pull up on me, I'll beat your ass. There is, once you, you say some shit like that to me, you talking to me like I'm a bitch in the street, we'll never be cool again. You call a nigga a user. So you call a nigga thing, a user after a I don't, you know, I've never me, experienced like some of the things that y'all have experienced in y'all family. One, because besides death, one is because my grandmother was from the South, like a lot of our grandparents, mm -hmm. and she didn't play that bullshit. She was like real South, like from South Carolina. And it was, I came from a, also a blended family. She was remarried three times. So yeah, she had, she kept her yeah, man. my granny, she kept her a man, y'all. So, and <laughs> they were dark and shy. You all like got a, like three different sections of family. If, if, yeah, so with that, it was like, either y'all gonna get along, or y'all getting y'all ass would basically. So that's the that's the yeah, I think that's a, lot of, that's, a lot of, that. that's a lot of a that's a lot of the issue when it comes to our community now. There is no big mamas. Why is there no big mamas? No, big because mama, we're not oh my God. because you're not taking care of yourself. My grandmother died when I was two years old. Let, I didn't get the experience of having her part of family. Let, I love talking to her. That's, a, that's that, a big that. issue why. That's a major issue why. I, I love being able to talk to my family and my cousins and whatnot about my grandmother and their experience no. with my grandmother. But in real life, I know that life will be completely different even now to this day when it comes to how we handle each other if my grandmother would have lived for an additional 10 to 15 years. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Hey, everybody got big mamas now. Big everybody got a It's the way that the they age, were. Yeah. If you look at right now, if a girl get pregnant at 14 and her mom is 30, mm -hmm. that means her grandmother is what? 45. But no, that's be clear. My grandmother was that mother. Was that person that had was a grandmother when she was 45. Yeah. yeah. And guess what? She was still was, a big mama. Those big but mamas there had was, already had their life experiences and, and they were it, it was they different. were settled now at 45. So that's what the fuck I was saying. It ain't no big mamas. Just because that's we, why it's because of the age. I don't think that's necessarily true because my grandmother, she was still big mama, but she still like had parties and everything. We yeah, just same. knew better. Man, we knew to go parties. downstairs in the basement. Oh, the big man, listen, all this, all this cute family shit. All the cute family shit sound cool until you get Because we were money. kids. Whoop, you get hold money. On, pause. Paul, what'd you say now? All this cute family shit sound cute until you get some money. When you get money, everything changes. Everybody Jealousy got a fucking number. Comes around. A billionaire sat down and told me, he's like, yo, everybody got a number. It don't matter if it's your fucking mama. A certain number. You hit a certain number, she going to be entitled to every dime you got. And the moment you don't give it to her, she'll say, fuck you. She'll turn everybody yep. against you. That's how family works. It don't matter how close oh, no, family no. is. Touch a million tickets. Watch you everybody like say, oh, you fuck you. Everybody, you. everybody. Your distant cousins that you only talk to once a year going to say, man, fuck you. I remember when I first hit a million. My sister sending out texts. Family members talk about some. This nigga ain't never did nothing for me. Nigga, I was broke my whole fucking life. What do you mean I ain't yeah. never did nothing for you? Yeah. But in their head, they was. I have had a they cousin that said that shit. Not gonna lie. I am. How about yeah, that? Yeah, I, I did I have mean, a cousin I'm, I'm say that before. On, like my hard work. I can do little stuff, but I don't mm -hmm. owe you. I'm not finna pay all your bills. Mm -hmm. I'm not finna move you into a big ass house. Mm -hmm. You had the same 24 hours as me. If you Come can't on. get up and get your shit together, you can't get mad at me for getting my shit together. I don't owe you shit. Can I help you? Can I teach you how to start a business? Yeah. Can I give you a little seed money? See, they don't but want after that. that you gonna take a motherfucker to the water. You can teach him how to fish. If you don't catch shit, that ain't on. They don't want that. They wanna be like, oh, Chris, nothing. I know her. That's I my daughter. That's my daughter. I don't owe you shit. They just wanna be able to be the person that know you. They don't I wanna wish do I can feel that like that. Thing. I be feeling like I, I owe my family everything. But it's <laughs> different because who helped you get to where you are? You I, mean, I would not have. A, a I would right take now? care of my mama. <laughs> yeah. I would take care of like those are people who've been there for me. Anybody outside of that who had nothing to do with my journey, I don't owe you shit at all. That's fair. But that's me. But a lot of again, you are confident enough to step on that side. I tip all the time. I have no relationship with my maternal grandmother. She yeah. was battling cancer. I didn't go see her. She needed to ride to the airport. Y'all laugh. I'm dead ass sick. I don't give a fuck. If she, if they called me right now, like, if I got that message, like, grandma did, I'm like, shit, we're gonna finish this Randy show. I'm gonna take it right now. That's because she's never done anything for me. There were no he positive no memories. With there were no good things. And she's been around my whole life, but there's never been a relationship. We never spent the night. We never made cookies. We never did anything. On my dad's side, that grandma, she can call for anything. 
She get on my nerves, call me 10 times a day, and she got dementia. I hear the same stories over and over, That's but respect. I listen to them. That's respect. So the thing is, That's I'm respect. strong enough to say, hey, you didn't do this. I'm going to walk away. You not. I'm, I don't hate her nothing, but you get no energy. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's strength, though, but I do commend you for standing on your boundaries. Yeah. My grandmother on my mom's side dropped the ball tremendously with me. And I don't know if it was because I was the sixth grandchild and she was just exhausted tired. and just tired. <laughs> but she was not rocking with me. My grandmother refuses to call me Randy because my dad is named Randy. She calls me Shanice, which is my middle name. She has never picked me up. She has never taught me anything about the culture that is that runs through my blood. She has never mm. cooked a meal for me. She oh, has hell. never poured into me when it comes to, you know, being a, a woman and being a, a, just a, a female. My grandmother's birthday, when it comes to our family, her birthday is closest to mine. So I felt like, shoot, you the person that, I'm big as a Zodiac in astrology. You might be the person that be able to give me the most game about myself because of your life experiences and what you went through. 100%. And when I'm able, when I when I got to, you know, really start kicking it with her, it wasn't into adulthood because my grandmother, I can, I, I will look y'all all in the face and tell y'all in real life, I've probably seen my grandmother in my entire life Probably 20 times. Mm. Wow. But that's, my grandmother that's... lives on the east side of Detroit. I was raised on the east side of Detroit. She was raised probably, I was raised maybe two miles away from her. Her My school that I went to growing up was seven blocks from her house. Mm. When I would get sick, her husband would come pick me up to take me home if I got sick in school and whatnot. And not today. I said, and not today house. I said all that to say, my grandmother dropped the ball tremendously. But if they call me right now and said, hey, Randy, Come visit your grandma because it's her last couple days. I'm going to holler at her because I don't want to hold that type of hatred is in my optional, heart. Bro. But can we talk about no that? You there. just opened the door to something that's very disrespectful in families that a lot of people don't talk about, but it scar a lot of people. Let's talk about families having favorites. Yes. Mothers having favorites over their children. That's cool. People yes. can say all day long, I got multiple kids, I don't have favorites. I love, no, I believe that you love your children differently. Mm -hmm. Me having three children, I know for a fact that your relationship with each kid brings out a different you. Yes. I was just telling them in the back prior to we started, my son is a teenager, he's 15. He started, once he got like my height, he started trying me. And we already know that teenagers do that thing where they trying to find themselves. Mm -hmm. But my son is still battling trauma from when he was younger. Issues with his father not being the man that he want him to be. Mm -hmm. So instead of him, like, he don't know how to do it because he's young. Mm -hmm. Just uh, taking accountability or understanding, I'm angry because my dad's not there. Mm -hmm. He'll take it out on mama because she's there 24-7. <clears throat> yep. Or the people that are around that's meant to help, he don't want that help. Mm -hmm. He don't want it to, he's mad at us. He's mad at everybody. And sometimes that makes me feel some type of way about my son. Mm -hmm. I tend to not want to be around him. So I, I don't want to argue. I sort of avoid it. I'll stay in my room. If me and him, I just started trying to Talk to him. You get what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. like be more, have a relationship with him because I started to realize you can't avoid everything. Like he'll tell me, London is your favorite. And I had to like really think about it. All my passwords are my daughter's name. You get what I'm saying? Then I started thinking like, damn, I'm giving that off. Not realizing that I'm traumatizing my kid. Like yeah. I'm messing them up. So that's when I was telling Randy, like I had to go get a therapist. No, I have to no, put, you don't. put, put like, my family no. through therapy, my son through therapy, because I, I, I could take accountability. It's my the, actions probably about. messed up stuff for him. And I, I'm trying to fix it before it get bad because he's still a, a kid. He's young. I can yes. still tackle it now before he gets older and hates me. You what, what, what kind of perfume do you got on? Me? Mm -hmm. um, I don't, it's, it's one of those scent sprays. From you wear it often? Sephora. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because you got favorite, right? We got a favorite car, favorite clothes, favorite food. Everything. You got a best friend. We all, as much as people say it's not politically correct, we all have favorites. If you're single, you got a favorite nigga or a favorite bitch. That's if you, if, if you, you got a favorite everything. Yeah. People don't want to admit that. I, I tell people all the time, I got a favorite kid. I'm saying, hey, 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 you got a one of those kids. I got one of those right kids. That's just what happens. I don't know. 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 But it's real. I'm the person that go on, I'm gonna say what everybody else don't want to say. Well, I will it's know. I know that say, is because it, me say, it messes them up mentally. Yeah. To no, bring, you can't to let them bring, know. Welcome to, to life. Conversation back to what Crystal is actually trying to say in regards to people having favorites and whatnot. My grandmother has favorites. Yeah. My grandmother prefers boys. She prefers most she, women do. She, she, no, my grandmother do. My grandmother. No. My, my See, we know that. That's but that's insane for you to say. Okay, it's, you're my blood, but uh, nope. Where's your brother? Listen, Come in, on. In that's insane. Be that way. Uh, I'm going to ask y'all women, that's true. period. Women who grew up in the house with y'all with mamas, when y'all started to, you know, go through puberty, did y'all have issues with y'all mama in y'all house? Yeah. Did y'all exactly. feel like she let y'all brother skate on easy. a lot of stuff, but for y'all, it was always attitude. It was always a bounce back, some type of you issue with you. Real life. You know, that that's that it's like that no, in every household. What you got to say to Chris, No, it's cool to have faith. I got I got 
I got three kids, okay? I have favorites, and it fluctuate. Like, who, whoever can bring me up a uh, Red Bull to fancies, get to be the favorite today. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm serious. Y'all got to stop, stop lying to these kids. Like, you don't have favorites. And I went through what you went through. Me, what your son going through. My mama tre tre treated the girls better, but as I grew up, y'all just relate better. Okay? It, it's, not, it's nothing that you know. I can't you can relate. Like, not, I just agree not, with 2K. Okay. I used to say my son was my favorite when he was smaller. I took he, that way everywhere with and he me. Probably because was. to be honest with you, Then you it, got a new pair of shoes and you like, I ain't wearing them no more. I'm wearing these <laughs> no, right here. No, no, no. All my kids are close in age. I have a 15-year-old. I mean, a 15-year-old, a 14-year-old, and a 12-year-old. So, no. It ain't I got a new one. I got a new one. No. Jeez. My son was my baby. What was. happened was his dad got in his ear and he, he switched his feelings no, on me. No. And he started to demonstrate Christy, that. Your son and is then you walked away from that one Chris, I know I did. Right, we're no, talking about this more backstage. No, we I got didn't. some questions we got to get to. We got some questions okay. from audience members we got to get to. Let's get to it. Who got yeah. that first question? Yeah, because you, who, you. Me? All y'all. Don't jump on I didn't do nothing. I would have jumped on your ass talking to Hi, Cass. Hi, Randy. So, I have a dilemma. My aunt called my daughter the B word and I cussed her out. My entire family looking at me like I'm tripping. I just need to know, am I? No. How old is your daughter? How old is your is daughter? And was she acting? Yeah, yeah, was she being was being your daughter acting like a bitch? No. What? It don't matter. How, how old is your daughter? How old is your daughter? You gotta answer that question, girl. These are the real no, questions. No, 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 no. It is never appropriate for an elder in the family to call it's somebody a bitch and, 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 and understand something. You call my baby a bitch? Bitch, you better go ahead and get ready. Auntie, though, no, I don't give a fuck if it was my if mama. You, Take these earrings off. If you walk in on your child up. getting a train ran on Put and somebody call him a hoe, call him, no she a hoe. <laughs> I'm going to show you who the bitch is every time. Hell no, I it don't matter. Just, like it depends on Yeah, it know. depends. Hold on. What about the, the, no, the kid called gr the child, auntie These kids a bitch nowadays, first. they pull different stuff when their parents not around. That's true. So if you not there and they say something disrespectful, yeah, call me. But in the heat of the moment, who going to do that, Randy? Come get me. Stop. Give us more content. But I don't mean that was everybody. Yeah, give us more context. Ain't no more context. I got two family members right here. They tell you, everybody in my family know, don't fucking play with my kids. I don't care what my kids is doing in that moment. Come get me. Call me. Yeah. Come get me. Call me. No, you, you don't. And this, this is the issue with elders. And this is why the elders are not respected like they used to be. Because y'all so busy trying to match a kid energy, energy versus making that kid learn a lesson in that my, moment. Uh, the fuck I look like calling oh, a kid that, a bitch the when in reality, it. I should. What? And, and, and down south, the what? elders. Got permission to yeah, that whoop your kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got whooped by my grandma. Everybody, yeah, got, I, I, everybody I, I, told my I, I, ass. I, 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 everybody told my ass because so. I literally, the elders can check you. Yeah, you can't check you. I was literally in a situation like that when I was a kid. Checking somebody, I would like to know the story. Checking somebody versus calling somebody a bitch is that's the same thing. I can, if yo, if my daughter be in mouthy with her auntie and she and and her auntie look at her and say, bitch. That's the issue. If her auntie look at her and say, now you know goddamn well you don't talk to me like that. That's right. different. You watch your energy and watch your mouth and watch your tongue. That's right. That's right. how an elder is supposed to handle oh, that situation. It, it, what you don't go down to where that kid is acting uh, and be like, oh yeah, whatever, bitch. Mm. I want to know that. What, what, what happened? What <laughs> we happened? got another question we, got another and we only question. got two okay, minutes okay. left. Y'all right. nosy asses. <laughs> so, so, so why she call her a bitch then? <laughs> That's why. <wild. laughs> Niggas is different. Niggas is different. Hey. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey. beautiful. Hey. Um, okay, so recently um, I had an incident. Um, my mother-in-law disrespected me, and my husband didn't do anything. So do I check her or do I check him? You check him, what baby. You no. no, 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 no. Wait, 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 yo, yo, tell us. You gotta get. You what have to. You do? No, she don't. No, she don't. So here we go. You I'm make him you. check her. Bingo. You go make him crystal. check her. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cause that's yeah. his mama. You that's don't want to be mama. disrespectful, so you gonna always now if, if if shit go left, then that's different. Okay. But you started the correct way. And you have your husband because at the end of the day, mama, you don't have nothing to do with this. Husband, do I've been in that situation. Talk about husband, yeah, I've been in, been in that situation. Husband, yeah, if right. you we don't do understand that, right? Husband, if you don't check Miss Brenda, I'm calling my mama to come put the pause on that bitch. Period. Oh. Fuck is you talking about, no, Miss no, Brenda? No, give us some, no, give us some content. No, 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 no listen. listen. Hey. No. No, listen, listen. if your mama can call me a bitch, she's gonna be a bitch every day of the week. No, no, hold on. Disrespect is eternal, exactly. Because you can you can feel somebody didn't say hey to you when you walk in the door, you can feel disrespectful. That's disrespectful. So, if you walk into a room and you don't speak to people, that's disrespectful. I and you like when I walk in a room and you speak to me. Right, right, right. Black, 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 black
When you walk, who who is the person that's supposed to greet the room? The person that's it sitting there, the or the person, person that's walking in? The person that's walking in. in. Thank you for having some I goddamn sense. Do you think here. LeBron James walk in the room and say hi to anybody? Yes. yes. LeBron James yes. walk in the room and do like this in their room. He does not actually. I've been, in the, I've been in the room with LeBron James, and guess and what ran. happened? He, he said, said, "Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Hey, how y'all doing?" Listen, y'all so y'all so damn egotistical, bro. Egotistical. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for y'all to keep a relationship if her mama. I can't tell. Off. Listen, if my if my white mama was saying little slick shit to me, I would let it go because I know that it's gonna hurt her. And I did that. I don't Come on, now you gotta talk that shit. I don't have to deal with Come her on. every day. That is so. I just let it happen. That is so beautiful that you let people disrespect you. No, it's and not. And on that note, it's really thank, not you guys, you thank you guys for watching this this week's y'all episode of Let's Talk About It. We'll be back next week with more controversial conversations. Think about it today. You oh, this shit was crazy. Not me being the one with the seeds. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man.